Uh, Finn Braden, forward, uh, number 33. Uh, I'm Alan Flavel, the uh, general manager of the Billingham Stars. Um, not a lot I don't do. Uh, <laughs> Meeting and greeting on game days, um, organise the buses, uh, look after the lads, equipment, you name it, uh, and I'm involved with it. Hi everyone, uh, number 15, Chris Sykes, uh, forward, left wing, right wing, goal scoring, kind of whatever you want to call me, but yeah, I'm here. I'm Stephen Foster, head coach of the Billingham Stars. I think the, the boys have done really, really well this year. They've, they've come up trumps and um, win the three quarters of the game and, and on the, such a great run since after Christmas then. Fantastic. I think the development of the younger players this year has been very good. They've kept going and the senior players have been chipping in and keeping them right as well. And um, Yeah, I think the boys have really... They, they set a target actually, to be honest, at the beginning of the year when we, um, when we had our first meet. And they said, you know, if we come top two, that would be fantastic. And um, credit to them, they've, they've battled hard and, and they deserve that spot. Um, from the beginning of the year to now, it's a massive, massive achievement for us to come second. Um, I think at the start of the year, we didn't really know where we'd be, but we knew we'd be in and around the top three. Um, and as the season's progressed since Christmas, we've just turned it up a level. And going on through the games, we've just got better and better, which I think overall, we're all really happy down there. The cup final hurts, but we're we're ready for these playoffs, and hopefully we can bring something back. Well, I've got to say, um, we've exceeded my expectations at the start of the season. I think I would have probably been um, uh, happy with a mid-table finish, you know, fourth or fifth or something like this. But um, you know, I think. Uh, since Roland's got himself fit, uh, the, the the belief, the self confidence in the team, um, you know, essentially it's last year's team, and yet we've uh, we've excelled, and you know, like I say, we've just played so well together as a unit. The dressing room being really good, very positive, and um, we just had some fantastic games of hockey. The whole season has just been so close with the exception of possibly Solway and Sheffield at both ends of the table but all the other games on any given night anybody's capable well capable of, uh, of beating each other so I think it's been a fantastic entertaining season uh, been great uh, really enjoyable from start to start to wind down to the end uh, lots of lots of good moments and very few you know dull moments so it's been a been a good season throughout Just winning all these games, you know, overtime, I think we're unbeaten in overtime, that's good for us as a team. Individually, just doing what I normally do, doing my job, scoring goals, um, helping the team out when I can in the offensive zone. I'm not the best defensively, so I do my best up, up top and try and keep us in games or, you know, get the, those vital goals and things like that. Um, but yeah, for me, just, just doing my job, trying to put the puck in the net and trying to get some points for the boys. Well, there's a few 27 second uh, standout moments for me where uh, we, we, we almost thought we had the cup won, but uh, with 27 seven seconds left to go, we, uh, we, uh, we're going to take it away from us, I guess, you know. But uh, um, And then la la just last weekend, 27 seconds of, uh, of playoff left uh, in, the, in the overtime, and, and, and we tied the or we won the game down in Nottingham. So I, I don't know, there's been so many close games. Certainly a lot of the home games this year have gone to overtime, been really close. I think the probably the standout moment was um, we were getting beat by a D side 4-2 with less than two minutes left to play in the game. Um, I think Young Finn got one and, uh, and we got it back to 4-3. And then with nine seconds left to go, um, Roland hit the slap shot from the blue line and uh, right in the top corner, you know, to take it to overtime and then we won in overtime. So. Probably that was probably uh, the most exciting game, but I think we've had so many this year, it's been a really good season. I'd say when we beat Solway here, that was a really good really good game to be a part of, as well as actually the Cup. I know it was a loss, but to play 125 minutes of solid hockey against a team like that, and, you know, come and look at on penalty shots, it was an unreal experience for, for everyone.
I think there's there's been there's been several. I mean, obviously the the Solway Cup Cup final. You know, that was that was exciting and rent down to the wire and you know, shame we didn't win. And then then you just look at all of the the, the gritty performances, particularly at home, and we've had all those overtime wins. Uh, that's been fantastic, and I think it's it's good to see the character of the boys coming through in those situations. I think we have to take it as serious as it is as the first place. You know, at the end of the day, it would be easy to slip up. You look at our situation last year, we played Witness and we hadn't beat them all year. Come into the playoffs and we we railroaded them here, and um, it'd be easy to slip up. And um, you know, it, it's it's we've got to go in every, every single game that we play, 100%, every player all battling. When we do that, we're very successful. Uh, just keep playing how we've been playing. You know, we've beat them every game this year, so we have we don't have any worries. The only worry we need is us, us throwing the game away. So as long as we play how we play and, and you know, uh, use our strengths, we shouldn't have a problem at all. Well, that's it exactly. I mean, uh, I'm not going to take anything for granted. I'm sure with the lads aren't either. Blackburn are a well capable side. Uh, we have had their numbers so far this year and, and hopefully we will this weekend as well. But um, you just never know. I mean, uh, they, they'll obviously try and up their game to the max and, and we need to respond as well. Um, I'm sure both games are going to be really close because, like I said, you know, any team on any given night is, is capable of uh, turning each other over. But I'm sure it's going to be um, a fantastic weekend of hockey. Yeah, we, we, we're not taking nobody lightly. We, we've played Blackburn every year, we've played them again this year. We know what they bring, we know what they've got, we know how to beat them. Um, we've had the upper hand this year and I don't see any different outcome this weekend. Um, the way we're training and playing and how we're going to go into the weekend ready for it. Um, it's playoff hockey, it's the business end of the season and me and all the lads down there, we, we're wanting to win this big time. So. Have a little bit, of, have a little bit of time with the, with family. Get out and about. Um, just try and get, you know, maybe out on a bike or a game of golf here and there, and uh, just just chill really. Um, and then obviously, because it's not it's not long once you once you get out of it. It's, it's not long before we're back into it. And um, yeah, that's what I do when I, I spend time. Yeah, well, we'll uh, we'll definitely be hitting the golf course once this weather sorts itself out a little bit more. Uh, get a couple of holidays in, I guess, you know. Um, but but it, it won't be long. I don't think as a general manager you ever switch off. You're always constantly thinking about who's going to sign next season. Do you want to get him signed before somebody else does? You better talk to the lads about this, better talk to them about that. So, yeah, I mean, it's always on the back of your mind. You, you, you will have some uh, uh, chill time, I guess, you know. But um, it's not always uh, a chill time, especially, uh, like you say, when the focus is trying to put a team together, ready for next year again, you know. So, you know, played a lot of hockey this year um, with Leeds and Billingham, so just a few weeks rest, I think, is probably needed. Um, but, then, but then, to be fair, I'll probably be, be itching to get back to it, so let's get in the gym as well. Is uh, keep keep improving throughout the season, throughout the off season, and uh, yeah, get back to it next season. Spend some time with uh, Rich and my girlfriend and my family, and just play some Xbox, play some golf, play some football, see some of the boys. Just spend some time away from ice rinks and enjoy summer. I guess um, we give up a lot of our time week in week out to do this, which we all enjoy doing. But summer's a nice time just to get a break away and have some time to ourselves, reflect on the season, get ready for next year and stuff like that.